Welcome to the Mint Report, our wrap-up of the day's business news. Here are the top stories. RBI and government unveil new measures to defend the rupee. Aditya Birla Group eyes billion-dollar acquisition in cement. And markets fall on Monday. First up, authorities have made fresh efforts to shore up India's battered rupee. On Monday, the government and the Reserve Bank announced separate measures meant to bring in foreign currency and help exporters. First, RBI increased the investment cap for foreigners in sovereign bonds by $5 billion to $20 billion. The government has also eased rules for external commercial borrowings or ECBs and made it easier for exporters in the manufacturing or infrastructure sectors to get low-interest ECBs. This means they can pay off their Indian loans with more ease than before. Repeated concerted efforts on Monday failed to reassure investors. Despite making early gains, the rupee fell in later trade to end at 57.02 to the dollar, only slightly above Friday's record low of 57.32. And markets also declined despite the government's moves. The Sensex fell 90 points on Monday to 16,882 and the Nifty lost 31 to 5,115. Banks lost ground on Monday amid persistent worries about the investment climate. SBI declined nearly 2% on the BSE to 2,115. And HDFC Bank lost 1.27%, while larger rival ICICI Bank fell a more modest 0.55% to end at 847 rupees and 35 paise. And finally, a major acquisition could be in the offing in the cement industry. Mint learns that the Aditya Birla Group is in talks to buy a stake in the cement business of Jay Prakash Associates. A senior executive at the AB Group has told Mint his company is a front-runner in the potential deal. He added that the stake in question could be worth $1 billion approximately. A stake sale could help Jay Prakash Associates reduce its debts. The company's total liabilities at the end of the last fiscal stood at nearly 65,000 crores. And that's all we have for you. Thanks for watching.